Hello everyone, this is Shin San again. Welcome to another to another part of our Rayla Let's Play. That's right, so right now. I've already skipped a turn and right now our research and construction is completed. Which means we now can actually construct greater magical items. Yay! Finally get done. So let's go ahead and get in. So let's go ahead and head straight right in. Or I should say dive right in. Let's go ahead and give our little cavalry commander some reinforcements. Now we can also have some down here as well. Hmm. Only ten normal units. Oh, these are normal. Oh, they're aquatic too. Did not notice that. Sweet, we gotta have to bring him up up, up on land. Yeah. Now we can't get any reinforced. Alright, so we're sending our profit down here to start taking over some independent territories. Let's send one of our cultists back up on here. Back up on land. To get more of the mystical ones, but sadly he's going mad for a bit. So he's going to be out. Yeah, we've still got some mad mermen. Okay, they are regular, so we should be able to bring them along. Probably some layer, t probably layer. And speaking of which, we can actually we can actually forge some magical items now. So we got the whip of command, which will give test massacre plus three and command of a hundred units. Then we got the rat tail, which gives animal awe and test massacre plus one. And we also got this one, the vine whip. Which is just talent, but we're not going to be needing that. So, what we will be making is the Whip of Command. Okay. And I'm not too worried about it, because basically our troops are mostly going to be slaves. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell this one to start to create five nature gems. And then start forging the Whip of Command. While he's doing that, let's go ahead and see. Uh, go ahead and recruit uh, another star child. It's probably going to need a backup. Let's go ahead and put these guys in. And insert. Um, hmm. I also need to capture this area as well. Hmm. Where's the nearest... F okay, Greenport's the only nearest farmland right now. And if we can capture that, we should be good. Eh, not gonna worry about the Tower Avalon over here, or... Flower Middle Forest. That's gonna be a layer. That that can be dealt with at a later time. I'm gonna go ahead and bring him down. Or, or should I tell him to hold on for a bit? If I give him the whip of command, he can actually take on a hundred more units, so I'll probably go ahead and wait. And I'm going to tell these to guard the commander. Let's see. Yeah, it's the dead center, so I shouldn't worry too much about him. I think that's about all I can do. Oh. Put this one on research. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, I know we lost a little bit by having that uh, slave mage forge something. But it'll be alright. Let's see. 
What else can we do? I know we can actually... I know if we create some spells, we should be able to have our profit... Uh, basically, create, cast some offensive spells. Hmm, should work. Let's see, it's game. Bit, nah, crap, that's not gonna... That's pretty much gonna be useless. It only works against undead target. Okay, probing's not a bad idea. We got the nether bolt. Survive the bolt, become people minded by strange energies. Mm, my work. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do some evocation. Yep. Yeah, there we go. That yeah, should be alright. Okay, what what does uh, Yubbit have? That's really mad ones and mad merman. Alright. Alright. Let's go ahead and end our turn, I guess. See, so yeah, in the last one, I apologize for not talking much. It's normally because I barely have much to talk about in the first place. Trying to find something to talk about is not an easy thing. Why? Because basically I'm trying to think of anything that is sort of relevant or something you guys might find interesting. You know, probably should, should just start throwing out some more random things now, seeing how I found a few of my friends like them, so... Might not be a bad idea. <laughs> Talk about, like, Bark's Car Arcade one minute, and go on to something about political, like, from here and the next. Okay, it's not political, but, you know, I mean. Ugh. Let's see. Trump. You heard about the, the plagiarist speech thing that his wife did? The third wife? I can't her name, but... Basically, she her entire speech was written. Basically, someone who wrote her speech was actually plagiarized. Plagiarized uh, Michelle's Obama speech. Yeah. And it's basically just been in some hot water for the past couple of days for it. Yeah, I think things are probably sending down for her, but <laughs> yeah, there's no way you're gonna. There's no way that's gonna be forgotten. No. Something like that, especially during election year, and if you're like relative of the president, nobody's gonna forget that for a long time coming. Yeah, trans. Yeah, nothing ever will. Speaking of which, I also heard Bernie Sanders finally supporting Hillary Clinton. Or, that's what I was saying, it's been news for a long time now. And some of Bernie's supporters are not, like, of course they're not liking the news, so. <laughs> that's. So this is going to be a fun. So this is going to be fun. Watching Democrat supporters going, ah, oh, no. Basically, just turning their backs onto Hillary Clinton. Still, this off of the fact that Bernie sadly lost the Democratic nomination. And of course, there's been a lot of uh, drama leading up to that. Basically, both, basically, most Democratic uh, support, supporters have, for what I heard, been trying to block the Bernie supporters. From trying to vote in for Bernie Sanders, basically doing whatever they can to make sure he doesn't get the Democratic nomination. Very <laughs> a lot of that going on. Okay, invocation done. Don the sea dot. I know we did. What? 
Ah, crap. God dang it. Come on. Alright. Alright, now he's got the whip of command. It should work, hopefully, but we'll sh but we will see. Yep. Dang it! Not the mic. Oh, speaking of which, we also got our own cultists. That's finally stop being crazy for a minute. It's now acting normal. Also, we need to send this guy back. What am I doing? Alright, you... Oh, god dang it, really? Alright, let's bring these guys up. Well, how close are you to being done with the Citadel? Okay, so that's three more months to go. I got some more mad hybrids up over here. Okay, now yours is fit for a normal unit. And yours is only 15. Right, let's see, we got some here. I probably should bring... Which one's not mad? Urshabi? Yeah. Let's go ahead and give us some extra units. Nope. Oh, right, they're magical. Actually, now that I think about it, let's see which one. Is. You should be able to afford a crown of. Com yeah, yes, we can. Command 50 units and have extra magical command, so you start forging. You get back to researching. To be able to get to level 2 real quick. Eritas is going to move down south. Have you researched as well? Hmm. What the heck did Santa's get all the way over there? That's right. You and yours. Damn it. He's a mad hybrid, and he'll be done in three months. So, who's the weakest to us right now? Eh. Okay. So, our naval troops are the weakest right now. So, our little naval thing is weakest to us right now. So, they should be first to go. Let's go ahead and have you wait a bit. And the sad thing is these are all slaves, so they should... Q. 
Shouldn't be too much of a problem, hopefully. I think I probably should have gotten the other whip. Oh well. Actually, how much does that take? Okay, we, need, okay, we gotta be level two, level two nature, and then we gotta have ten nature gems. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. That's not going there. All right, next turn. Price. So the Satyrs are making a quick game. I gotta take out the our naval friend. I've gotta take out our naval friend real quick. And yeah, right. And continue conquer ex yeah, kinda, I've got to conquer the extra neutral land province before our <laughs> Spanish friends get to them. And once that, they're taken care of, the Satars are next. And I still gotta conquer this coast, the naval provinces around the, on the surrounding islands as well. I probably shouldn't stretch them out too far, otherwise I'll probably... Otherwise I'm gonna be having some pretty big troubles. I spend this whole time just coming my beard. Just maintaining it before I have to shave it off for the weekend. But yeah, that's right. After this one I'm gonna be, after this I'm gonna be gone for the weekend, so yeah. And also I'm probably gonna just be doing like four videos a week from Monday to Thursday. Trying make sure I got like a schedule of sorts. Yeah, a little quota for myself. Just four videos a week. <laughs> no phrase though, because, well, you know how that goes. Or I could just do it like... Or I could just do it like a Friday... New episode Friday, only on the Shinizana channel. Sort of like how it was back in our old days, when we used to watch cartoons on TV. Whenever there was going to be a new episode coming up, we just had to wait... A week and it's normally on Friday. <sighs> I remember that? When we used to have to wait for our new cartoons for like a week till they had to come out. Before we start. Before we use this magical thing called the internet. The internet shows us everything we've always wanted to see and some things we never wanted to see. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that? Pepperidge, Pepperidge Farm does. <laughs> and Pepperidge Farm is not going to keep to his quiet old self. Maybe he'll buy a pack of cookies and this whole thing will blow away. Okay, then he, um, oh, we got two water gems, that's good. And we got the battle, of, yeah. yeah. And just, also, I'm gonna make sure there's at least, like, one battle per part. At least one. Alright. So where are these sea dogs? Uh, life underneath waves? Okay, they're animals, so that's not a surprise. In many ways, that on dry land, a sea dog is a dog with web feet and fish scales instead of fur. They are amphibious and roam the shorelines at night. Got sets three. 
So we get it's done real quick. Wow, they're not doing any damage at all. It sounds like some regular humans are being killed. Yeah, they're just running away. There's no point in watching the rest of this. Yeah. Alright. Now think about one other thing. Okay, so uh, all right, all right. Let's finally send you down. Uh, sorry, bumped it a bit. Oh, let's also send you over here. Let's go ahead and just increase the problem's defense in this. Deals of unrest. We're getting close to the end as well. Alright, then. Eh. Yeah, so this has pretty, pretty much been uneventful, except for the Sea Dog thing. And, well, I don't think there's much to be said about this. Wait, are they creating foul spawns? Foul spawns? Ugh. Spend with the name. Okay, so we gotta go over here, kill them. Then we need to move over to here and kill these. Start spreading our madness around here. We also need to go over here. I think we should probably just start a war with them. Oh, fire ends. Guards, crap. And they have heavy infantry, wolf tribe archers, and how about deers? What do we need? Okay, we need a lab. We grew over here. Just heavy infantry. Alright. I can hear about our underwater cultists that they just go mad for no reason at all. <sighs> Anyways, um, I guess that's about it for this episode, this part. Sorry, it's been uneventful, but hopefully by next next time there'll be more shit happening in the near future. In the near future right? Okay, then. Well, this has been Shinasa reporting to you live from Dominion 4. Have a good night and keep the madness alive. <laughs>